today I'm going to talk about the difference between compound interest and symbol interest. So let's try to understand the difference between compound interest and symbol interest with the help of this problem, right? So let's start. <clears throat> so it says calculate the difference between compound interest and symbol interest on rupees 10,000 in two year 85%, right? So let's start, let's calculate the symbol interest first. Simple interest equals to P into time into R upon 100 equals to <coughs> is 10,000 principal is 10,000 right and time is 2 year right and rate is 5 percent so 0 0 0 0 right so 100 right 2 into 5 equals to 100 Two fives are ten, right? So equals to one thousand. So the simple interest for two year at rupees ten thousand, sorry, for rupees ten thousand eight five percent is one thousand. Simple interest and that is simple interest. Now compound interest. Compound interest on first year. Okay, first year equals to same formula. So ten thousand into times one two year, right? So rate is 5%, 0, 0, 0, 0. So the 500, okay? And compound interest on, <coughs> compound interest on second year, okay? Compound interest on second year will be principal, right? So principal will be 10,000 plus 500, right? So 10,500, right? 10,500 into 1 into 5 upon 100, right? So, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, if you multiply with this, you will get 525, right? So, total compound interest. Total compound interest equals to, if you add this to, you will get total compound interest. So, 1,025. Right, so the compound interest that we got is 1025, and the simple interest on the same amount at the same time at the same rate we got 1000. Right, therefore, the required required different different between compound interest and Simple interest equals to minus one thousand equals to twenty five, and this is the difference between compound interest and simple interest on principle of ten thousand for two year at five percent per annum. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy this lesson. Thank you.